Typically, juice heads beat the shit out of each other for basically any reason. If it's, hey, you took my bench, or hey, you beat me in a PR, or hey, you sold my girl D-Ball and it was supposed to be Anivar. I mean, there's endless reasons that juice heads are going to beat each other up. And what's funny about it is they always think that they can beat each other up, or really anybody, and then they fail to do so. I'm talking from experience as a juice head who's tried to fight in competitive Muay Thai and gotten his ass kicked way too many times to count. It never works out just the way you thought it would. And today we have another guy who's doing the same thing. If you would please just imagine this, right? Somebody who is above six foot tall, almost 300 pounds supposedly, it's probably more around 200 something. I don't really agree with like everything you say, but other than that, I'm a huge fan. Okay. You're big as fuck, bro. <laughs> Thanks, uh, How much do you weigh? Uh, 310. 310? Hell yeah. How tall are you? Six foot. Six foot? You might have my friend. Not a fucking chance, bro. You no, know, my friend just wanted to confirm. No, we're good, man. No, we're good. Why? Yeah. Why are you touching him? We're, we're not going to do any of that. Do any we're not going to do any of that. I was just asking yeah. his height and weight. Don't worry about it. 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 What are you guys thinking, tough guys? No, we just have to sign away. I can't. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I'm your worst fucking nightmare. Get the fuck Compared out of here. Compared to another guy like Jeff Nippard, who is like five foot four or some shit and 180 pounds at best. And then those two going at it for shits and gigs. Well, that's actually what happened today. Mike Van Wick, the guy who posts videos talking about how science-based lifters are inaccurate, which there's some truth to that, compared to a guy talking about science, Jeff Nippert. You see, Jeff Nippert responded to this video that the man Mike Van Wick had made and said this. We all know the science-based guys. Science guys really need to answer this question before anything. Why is it that you remain so mediocre, yet you know so much? I know I don't need to respond to this, but since he asked, using science-based training, I won Natural Bodybuilding Nationals. I earned my pro card on the most competitive stage in the World Natural Bodybuilding Federation. I placed second in my first bodybuilding pro show. And while doing this, I set the Canadian record on the bench press, and I set a provincial record on the squat. I currently weigh 180 pounds at five foot five inches tall, which is pretty close to my natural limit, given my height and my genetics. That's all besides the point though, because facts are facts. Information is either right or wrong. It doesn't matter who that information is coming from. If the people with the best physiques had the most knowledge, why would Sebum need a coach? He has the best physique on the planet. Who could possibly know more than him? Well, it's pretty obvious that bodybuilding success comes from great genetics and really hard training. And if you want to make it in the IFBB, steroid use. I like science because it gives me more confidence in what actually works and what doesn't because it isolates variables. If you trust a big guy's advice over scientific studies, that doesn't bother me. I listen to what big guys have to say. Not very derogatory, not bad, not really anything heinous. Just a normal video talking about his accolades and that he thinks his opinion is at least that science-based lifting gives him confidence. And then Mike didn't like that. He, he thought that that was completely outrageous and that bro science, even if applied to someone using steroids, is always right. Now, hear me out, folks. I agree. I think bro science is more times than not correct compared to the science-based lifters. And this is just arguably true, even in the demographics that do take pharmacology, for some reason, the bro science guys just generally get better results. But the science-based lifters have something too. I think their value is in what they practice, preach, and research for us. And then they take the research and treat themselves as their own experimental basis and give us the results of their progress. It's a great world and lots of convoluted and conflicting and... <sighs> precarious situations. Mike didn't like what Jeff had to say at all. In fact, he assaulted Jeff in the gym, nearly killing the man through a head excursion. I don't know if that's a word or an injury, but I said it. Check this out. Damn. So you can see that, well, our friend Mikey <laughs> fucked up this boy, Jeff, uh, a lot. He had Jeff sitting on his butt like a little baby boo boo gaga, which is not great. Just not great at all. Oh, keep in mind, Mike is a bodybuilder who competitively is, was, 
doing his thing and then was also a bodyguard for drake himself so he definitely learned from drake the one and only on how to get into your feelings about someone's opinions and drake must have imparted some form of wisdom with him that we could never even fathom because to get this angry about a simple statement on an instagram reel that is less than 60 seconds long is pretty preposterous and a lot of people are going to say that this is the typical juicer the typical brain dead meat head could they be right probably are they probably wrong probably <laughs> look man at the end of the day this shit's fucked up i think it is very childlike for mike to do this the thing that i don't know and the reason that i'm kind of holding back a lot of my opinions and deep dives here is because Simply put, we don't know what happened in the exchange between Jeff and Mike. It could have been that Jeff had said something slightly provocative to Mike and that caused him to have such a reaction in person and he was generally fine before. I don't know. There's a lot that we don't know about this situation and hopefully one of them comes out to tell the whole story or at least their side of it. But what I will say is it's a bad look for bodybuilders because you just took the guy who is the angelical science-based lifter that everyone just loves and cherishes and pushed him down and you're the guy filled with tattoos, taking juice, pushing people around. Am I the bad guy here? Am I the one being profiled? What's going on? Whatever happened, I think it's pretty fucked up. It's the hardest thing to do as a man, especially when you're taking copious amounts of androgens and your reactivity is much higher, regardless of what people say. Steroids do cause mood deviations and those mood deviations are sometimes just the, the inability to think through things. You become much more compulsive in your reactions and actions. And so it is a really impressive man who can take negative stimulus, whether that was Jeff saying something to him directly at the gym or Jeff making that video and just cooling out. Just letting that teapot fucking whistle its way home and run out of water and then just let it cool out. It, it takes a big man to do that. Speaking from experience, getting very aggravated, it is really hard to control those emotions sometimes. It's really unfortunate to see that Mike, someone that a lot of people actually look up to in this industry, had a lapse in his behavior and could very well be facing a lawsuit at this point knowing that Jeff has resources that Mike probably does not, I would be a bit concerned because Jeff would likely be able to sue him for a lot of money. But I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm just rambling at this point. I think it was very shitty of Mike. Jeff, not a great person in my book. Like, I don't necessarily agree with everything that he says, but I think he has a lot of value and hasn't really been anyone to say anything negative about anyone in the industry ever, which is commendable, and I can't even do that. So really cool for him. Not a good look for Mike. If you like this video, subscribe and maybe even like the video so it gets boosted into the algorithm. And if you don't do this and you're still watching right now, I might actually fucking cry.